Well, good day, guys. My name is Huey Lu. I'm a senior services architect based out of the Melbourne CA office. And today we're going to talk about identity miner and site miner concepts. There are many ways and tips to gather requirements. This is just a way I use to gather use case requirements for an identity management system. One of the things I like to do is to get on the whiteboard and use it as a tool for discussion. Um, as I draw on the board, uh, one of the other things I do is ask lots and lots of questions, like children who seem to have never-ending questions. So let's get started with an example. In the identity management world, there is a need to onboard new users. So the goal is to create users. I would then ask, well, who can create these users? The answer may be the IT administrators or the managers. These then form the actors for the use case. Moving along, I will then ask, you know, for these users, what information are we collecting? And the typical answers would be first name, last name, password, user ID, etc. I will then drill into each of these attributes and thinking as a child, ask more questions around them. You know, such as passwords was mentioned, so is there a password policy? Is it auto-generated or can the user uh, specify the password they would like? Uh, once they authenticate for the first time, do they have to reset their password? Uh, user ID was also mentioned, so is there a user ID formula or can a user choose their ID? When we take a step back and look at the overall use case, we see that the IT administrator and the manager can create the user but is there any sort of workflow involved does HR need to approve the user or not these are further questions that can be asked and then once a user has been created through the approval process and all what about notifications do we send an email to the user they need to know their user account has been created do we send a notification to the manager, letting them know that um, their request has been successfully completed? So as you go through the life cycle of a user creation, uh, there are many touch points and at each one of these touch points you got to ask lots and lots of questions to gather the requirements. And then all the answers to all these questions then feed into the requirements document. Thank you for watching this video today. For more information, please visit the CEO Learning site.